Hey everyone, this is RevitUni.com and in this video I would like to show you a new feature in Revit 2026 which allows us to have better control over walls definition. And if you are here you probably understand uh, that there is a necessity to uh, split the core layers from the finish layers in most of the designs. So I want to go through through the previous versions and show you the evolution of this feature and prove to you that 2026 allows us to actually finally uh, maintain a total control over walls. So let's start with Revit 2024, which is how the definition worked for years before the, before the this version. So. I have two walls, one of them is core wall, so if we go to edit type, we have one layer of core boundary here. So usually you need to first define the core layers and then we would go to finish, uh, say finish face interior and using, using lines. I would try to go around those walls. I'm modeling clockwise, so the exterior layers are probably on the correct side. And, and now we would have to join those two walls in order to get rid of the thick line running between the core layer and the finish layers. And in a situation where we, for example, have window and there is no cutout running through finish layers. So in order to fix that, usually the next step would be to join layers. And usually you would like to also glue them together using lock command. So for example, if this one moves, I want this element to follow along. So I will use also a line tool here, here, lock, and you can see that there's a lot of steps here. So this is how it worked for many years, uh, long before Revit 2024. Uh, Revit actually was trying to create something called parts, where you can explode the wall basically and create each layer as a separate part. But I, I honestly don't know who is using that and what would be the purpose of that. So let's move on to the Revit 2025 right now. I have similar wall types here and now I will switch to finish layers with insulation. Couple couple words about finish layers. Uh, in the this uh, wall type definition, as you know, there is core boundary and up to Revit 2025, you cannot move them. You have to have at least one layer inside core boundary. You see those up and down buttons doesn't work. So just just remember that and uh, now start drawing. You see that now we have auto join and lock. So compared to the previous version, I can now, now skip the join part and aligning and locking. So let's start drawing. Oh, you see, although they are joining, there is this problem and it also can occur in the previous version, but for, for some reason it worked perfectly here, but it's very common that this core layers dives into this insulation layer, which is also actually a core layer, right? Because when we go to edit type, you see inside the core boundary, there is this thermal air layer. So the default uh, Revit behavior is that the core layers should somehow connect. So although they are joined and they are aligned, we still had to figure out those weird connections. And the, the way you would do that is actually to disallow join, unjoin elements, then you would have to again drag here and do like that in every corner and actually repeat join in some situations. Let's move now to Revit 2026. We have a core layer 
and now if I go to edit type structure you see I can keep the core boundary empty so I actually can define all those finish layers outside of the core boundary and I can set the priority of each layer it's not forced by function anymore but also by my own choosing so um, it priority also affect the way walls are joining so this is also a potential problem solver for many cases but let's focus on our simple example we have auto join and lock enabled and now i will try to draw it again you see i have no weird joining condition anymore thanks to this very simple actually function we have also a feature that allows us to place by segment so it's actually similar to picking lines but i guess we are picking component instead of line so let's try also this feature but you can see there is something weird happening still so i guess it might be fixed maybe in a uh, the closest update right i guess the problem is that the finish layers it's here the exterior finish layer is here so i would have to actually flip it in order for it to work well but i still prefer for now drawing it by line maybe the feature next to it where i can actually model wall by room might be actually very useful especially for those small finish layers like plaster so this is what i wanted to share with you let me know what you think about this new feature let me know if you also find it a really a big step forward with uh, creating your designs